Okay, let's cover all the tools here. Um, any good inking starts with a good drawing. So we're actually going to be doing a drawing and showing how it impacts the inking. Uh, for rough sketches, what you want is something that you want a hard lead that will give you a nice white or a nice light line that you can make darker as you press harder. Give you a nice darkness variation as you draw. It's always good when you're sketching to sketch very lightly and that way as you get more and more sure of the lines that you're making you can darken them up and the light lines will fade into the background. Um, second good thing to have is a couple kind of couple different erasers. My favorite kind is this pencil type eraser. There's a long piece of eraser inside and you just push the back and extends it like a mechanical pencil. In fact, literally the same as this mechanical pencil. And it allows you to erase uh, greater detail. This eraser, this is a gum eraser, it's very gentle on artwork. And it's also bigger and allows you to erase a larger area. When you're doing a value uh, drawing, let's say after you've drawn something you want to add some shading, I like these kinds of uh, tools right here. Big old graphite sticks. I can hold them like a pencil, they can give me a lot of, a lot of width when I draw, especially when it's flattened out like that one is. So that's what I like to do, like to use to do my value sketches. When I you do my final sketches, my final drawing, I really do need a nice, accurate 0.5 lead mechanical pencil. Uh, I don't care whether it's uh, really hard or really soft. Uh, actually, kind of soft, but not too soft. Medium is, is probably the best. If it's uh, too soft, it'll be hard to get a nice crisp line. If it's too hard, it'll be hard to, difficult to make it nice and dark. So these are the tools that are really best for making a nice, accurate, finished line draw. Okay, that's all my drawing tools right there. What you also want, of course, is a straight edge. I like straight edge that I can use for inking as well. And what that means is it has a, a backing behind it that will lift it up off of the page a little bit. If your straight edge, if you're inking and your straight edge is lying right on the paper, when you draw, the ink will suck up under that, that straight edge, under that ruler, and it will smear all over your paper. So you need something to push it up and away from the paper to give it a little distance. And here I've just used a bunch of graphic tape. Sometimes they have cork, uh, rulers have cork backs. Now, I also have a bunch of curves, and if you notice too, on this curve, there's a, there's a lip, an extra bump on this curve too, so that it's for inking, and it does the same thing as this tape, and when you lay it down on that side, it will lift the edge off of the paper. Again, a variety of curves for different functions. Mostly for mechanical stuff, I like to do my organic curves by hand.